Hey guys, so today I have a ColourPop haul for you and I have eyeshadows and lip products today which is unusual because usually it's just shadows but I have a variety for you today. But let's start with the shadows because I have those on my eyes right now. I got uh, three of the newer single shadows that they came out with not too long ago. The first one is called Bites and it is a white matte shadow. And I have this on as my brow bone highlight today and I was really surprised. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this or not, but every time I use a matte white as a brow bone highlight, I really just enjoy it so much. It makes me wonder why I don't do that all the time, but I don't know. I, but I really like it. I definitely recommend this, and um, if you've never tried a matte white as a brow bone highlight, try it because it's it's really pretty. I like it. <laughs> Okay, the next color that I have to show you is called Acorn, and this is a pearlized finish. And you know what? I just realized that I didn't swatch that other shadow. So let me swatch that so you can see. Even though I'm wearing it, it's still fun to see things swatched. So that's what Bites looks like. And that's what it looks like on my hand. All right, so the next one is called Acorn, and this is a pearlized finish, and I would describe this as a beige. I don't think that's how ColourPop describes it, but that's the way I see it, and I have this on my lids, and let me swatch this one for you. So that's Acorn. And the last one I have to show you is called Downtown and this is the shade that I have in my crease. This is a matte and this is Downtown. Now as you can see the color that it is in my crease is quite different than the color that it is in the pot. In the pot it is a very dark taupe and it does swatch that way, well not quite as dark, but it swatches pretty decent on my finger, but let me do this. Then as I apply it to my hand it gets even lighter and when you put it on the eye area, especially if you're putting it over a primer, which I do have MAC Paint Pot in Camel Coat on as my eyeshadow base today it was even lighter. Now, after, I, I have a ton of ColourPop eyeshadows, and I gotta tell you guys, honestly, um, after having spent quite a bit of money on ColourPop eyeshadows and experimenting with a lot of different shades, I really cannot recommend these for crease work. It's so difficult to blend them, I've tried a million different brushes, I've used sponge tip applicators. You can use your fingers, but how can you really get any kind of precise work with a finger, you know? Um, so I would say when it comes to ColourPop eyeshadows, yes, they're gorgeous, they come in a lot of great shades, but I would say stick to brow bone highlight shades and lid shades because they're just so much work and so difficult to use in the crease that I sadly cannot recommend them for the crease and I just I, I it breaks my heart to say that because like I said there's so many great shades but really um, I don't think I would order any more crease colors because I had such high hopes for this downtown shade because it's such a great color but to try to apply it I mean I had to just keep going over it and over I used a brush this time I just kept going over it and over it like a million times trying to build up the intensity of the color and it took me forever and I was like too much work too much trouble uh, I would rather use regular powder eyeshadows from 
you know, whatever brand that I like um, instead. So I just don't, can't deal, can't deal with the um, amount of work involved in that anymore. And let me just quickly grab a bottle of makeup remover so I can wipe off these swatches because I do have some lip products to show you. Okay, so I got two lip products, and whenever I order their lip products, I always get the lipstick and the lip pencil because their lip pencils are really nice. They're, the formula on them is quite different than most lip pencils. It's a very soft formula, but I kind of like that um, because it goes on really pigmented. With a lip a lip pencil that is normally soft is not going to give you a lot of pigmentation, but these do. So I really like the way they feel, the way they apply, and the pigmentation. So I always get the matching lip pencil with the lipstick. And all these things that I'm showing you, by the way, are $5 each. So I didn't have a nude lipstick from ColourPop, and I didn't have a peach lipstick from ColourPop. So what I decided to get was... Uh, where is it? Here is it. I'm going to start with this one. This is Cake, and this is a satin finish, and this is a very bright peach, and I have one of the cards that they send with you so that I can just... I have one of the cards that they send with you? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> um, I have one of the cards that they send to you with your order. That's better. And they describe satin finish as full coverage, long wearing lipstick, glides on smoothly with a hydrating feel, and has a modern satin finish. I wouldn't really describe any of their lipsticks as hydrating, uh, but that's kind of good in a way because then you get more of a longevity out of it. But anyways, yeah, Cake is a very bright peach. And... Let me swatch that for you. So that is really pretty, really gorgeous, and I haven't worn either one of these yet because this weekend I had very specific ideas in mind about what I wanted to do for makeup, and so this didn't really go with the color scheme that I was wearing, but I really wanted to get this because um, peach is a color in makeup that I'm just really starting to get into now. I was never really much of a peach person before. I I don't know. My taste in makeup colors has changed so much in the last year that I almost don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm looking forward to trying this, but it definitely doesn't go with the eyeshadows that I did today and I wanted to show you how those eyeshadows looked on so that's cake and let me swatch the liner right next to the other swatch just so you can see how the lip pencil looks with the lipstick because what I've noticed with ColourPop is they don't always make the lip liner the same color as the lipstick. Sometimes they make it a little darker, sometimes they make it a lot darker. It just depends on the shade. I feel like the lighter the shade of lipstick is, the darker they make the liner. And at first I wasn't sure how that was going to work out, but I totally agree with what they do with this because I have found that um, the combinations that they use, they're, they're right on the money. It looks great once it's on, is what I'm trying to say. And then the other color that I got is Skimpy. And this is a glossy finish. And the way ColourPop describes their glossy finish lipsticks, it says medium to full coverage, packed with moisture, feels extra creamy and buttery with a glossy finish. So this is a definite nude and I didn't really feel like I had a true nude by ColourPop yet and let's 
So that's what skimpy looks like. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull off this shade of nude. But what I was thinking is um, if I can't, because it's a very peachy nude, if I can't pull this off, then I might be able to mix it with something to, if I wanted to like warm up a lipstick color, if something was a little too cool, I could maybe mix it with this and use it for that. But we'll see. I should, I should give it a chance first. And then the liner looks like that. So it's a much darker liner. But like I said before, I, I totally trust ColourPop with what they choose for liners to go with the lipsticks because usually it always ends up being a good combination in the end. So that's what I got from ColourPop and you know when I first discovered this brand I was just ordering order after order after order and I thought is there any light at the end of this tunnel because I was so overwhelmed there was so many things that I wanted but I'm actually seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now especially with the eyeshadows um yeah there's a few more colors that I want but I'm not like in a big rush to get them and the lipsticks um I do really love their liners and I would say that I like their lipsticks. I don't think they're my absolute favorites in the world, but I do like them. Uh, the, but the, the lip liners are awesome. Um, but yeah, the, I, I can't think of anything bad to say at all about the lip products. Um, they're, they're really nice especially for the price and the color range is amazing so I would like to try they just came out with or are going to be coming out with highlighters face highlighters so I would kind of like to try at least one of the highlighters the blush that I got I like it I like the formula a lot and it was super easy to apply but the color um is more like what I used to love in terms of colors so I probably didn't choose very wisely with the color blush that I got so I might end up picking up uh, more blush colors because I really do um, enjoy the formula of the one that I tried and I've seen videos of those face highlighters swatched and they look really gorgeous and amazing. So I will be doing more ColourPop orders in the future, but I think I'm gonna reel it back a little bit and you know not go quite as crazy with the ColourPop orders that I have, just because now I have so many things that I love by that brand that I don't feel so compelled to just go crazy and place so many or so many orders with them or large orders. So. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.